Hello friends, I'm Ravinia, but everyone calls me Ravi. Welcome back to the island of Barkor, where I try to give you inspiration for areas to design for your own island and get through that dreaded creative block. Just don't look at my Valentine's Day Plaza that never came to be, it's seriously a mess. <laughs> Today for your three minute inspiration, I'm going to show off Margie's bookstore. Okay, first can we talk about how Margie is just a freaking angel with a trunk? She was one of my first villagers I ever asked to move to my island, and even though I have swapped out many over the last year, I've never had it in my heart to let her move on, even after she gave me her photograph. So while most of my villagers' places they work are incorporated into where their house is, I decided to make Margie a beautiful little hidden oasis away from work because she freaking deserves it. She seems like a little homebody who would be the kind of elephant who appreciates tight friendships with a small number of people over crowds of friends, so I imagine her sitting out here reading the latest novel with a cup of tea, or chilling in her hot tub with her two best friends, sipping on margaritas, and having laughs. But you're here to see her bookstore, which is magic, so let's go. I am seriously so proud of how it turned out. When designing it, I knew I wanted there to be a shop doggy, for it to be part of a shopping plaza and multi-level, kind of like a Barnes & Noble, which I miss terribly because we don't have one where I currently live. I even put out a little table in the front for like the discount books or bargain books you always see to try and get that bonus buy right before you cash out at the register. And on the second level, I was sure to include some seating areas for people to preview their books before purchasing, as well as tables and chairs for students to work on projects and a little bit of tranquility, similar to what you would see at a real bookstore. I also jazzed up the space with some splashes of art as if they were advertising certain books, uh, but this spot over here is probably my favorite. I imagine an open window in front of the table giving the customer a view of the Riverside and Meringue's Bakery with the smell of pastries coming through. Ugh. Now I'm hungry. Speaking of meringue, hello, ma'am. Would you like to buy a book? No? Ignoring me? Uh, okay. Cool. I would be remiss if I didn't give you a full, beautiful view of how the levels look from the front. I mean, just look at that. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today in Margie's Bookstore, and thank you to everyone in the Den community who donated countless books. Seriously, so many books to make this space a reality. If you want to become a member of The Den, come hang out with us at twitch.tv forward slash Ravinia and help out on our current community project where we are designing a Disney-inspired island called Denland. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part of the bookstore is, and if you're a real superstar, hit that subscribe button. Please, seriously, cool people hit subscribe. See you next time, friends! <laughs>